Hey guys, it's Quinitra here. Um, and I wanted to say that um, <clears throat> I was speaking last night from my bedroom. I was laid out in bed, so I was not trying to get up. So I'm really thinking about this scripture. The Lord has me on this scripture right now as I'm getting ready to enter into a fast. And many guys, I told you guys, God prophesied my job into existence. I was given an example about something else when I was working at Jack in the Box about selling furniture and stuff. So within your language, I'm eating uh, Burger King as well, so I got to get back to my food. But within your language of who you are, you know, your next level in your life is being played out. <clears throat> I'm the most imperfect person, but God told me I was talking with my roommate and I was sitting down just getting frustrated at myself. How can somebody talk about me when I talk about myself? That's crazy. I talk about myself. So like I get frustrated because think about Elisha, Elijah, not Elisha. You know, killing all the prophets, God, and he runs off into the cave trying to talk to God. They're killing all the prophets, you know. And he was just did something mighty, you know, a few days before. So, how do we get cowardly and get scared? And, you know, we have a relationship with God. Shouldn't we, like, be happy that if we got killed, that we're going to go be with God? Um, we love this earth, you know, that we're put on. We love, you know where we're at for the present temporary time you know i'm asking god about my mindset i understand that i got all this knowledge and different things i tell god and i'm in my relationship with god going i understand this but god i understand this but god that i understand this but god this and i'm like i want my mind to just be lost in you you know like how somebody just goes crazy or they could be possessed with something bad i just i need my mind to be gone I need my mind to be just lost in God completely. Um, I want to be lost in God completely, seriously. And I came across the scripture because God knows I've been pondering. I'm thinking about my father. Let this mind be in you. Do not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Do not consider it robbery. Do not think that you're trying to, it says be equal. It didn't say be like Satan, wanting to be more. Do not consider it robbery to be equal with God. People go, you know, I, you know, I don't take anything like more than what I should. I don't let my head get big. But people ask me, you know, how is it that God is with you? How do you get a relationship with God? I'm going to say one thing about me that I can just like give away. It's not a secret or a formula. I feel like... If I'm going to know the God of the Bible and I'm going to have a relationship with God, then we, we got to be on the same level. We got to be equal. So I'm thinking about Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Do not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Walk with him. You know, even though a man rules over and gives dominion over the woman in a marriage, she can consider herself to be equal with the Lord, uh, the Lord God and her husband. To share things right down the middle. Not to overstep, but to agree. That's unison, to agree. Am I right? I want to lay something to rest. It doesn't bother me as much as it used to. I'm not going to say it never has before. But let's talk about weave. And let's talk about makeup and getting hair and nails done. Now, I have always been a person who's done this. Question. Why would God take me to heaven? And why have all the times I've visited hell that God has not told me, hey, you're going to go to hell for wearing pants. Or, hey, daughter, stop right there at the gate. You can't come in here because you wear makeup and wigs. I know the answer to my own relationship with God, and I warn a lot of people. I've seen a lot of things happen in my lifetime. And those things that happen is this. People get online, they look at stuff, and they get scared from what somebody else is saying. That all 
comes from a place of not having a full, I'm not going to say not having none, for some people they don't, but not having a full relationship in God. Now, some people can idolize a lot of things. And there are also men and women of God, you know, don't just attack some of them like me. There's other women of God that you can talk to and you can say, hey, um, why aren't you wearing your real hair? Because other people are wearing pieces, right? So I have a question, you know, why, why didn't God stop me when I visited heaven? And I was a wig wearer, getting nails done, everything. And I experienced heaven. Did I experience a mirage or a crazy place? That's what that, that's what that means by when people start acting really kind of, mm, just kind of like a self thing, right? So you need to think about that when you're doing your walk with God. You really need to think about your relationship with God and talk to God the Father. Don't live your life through somebody else's relationship with God, not even mine. Get your own relationship with God. And five wise, five foolish. But what? The five foolish wanted to have a relationship through somebody else. The five foolish or anyone foolish would do this. Go off of any YouTube thing, get scared. Oh my gosh, that person went to hell because of this. I want to tell you something. There are devils that give false dreams. Yes, they do. But it doesn't bother me, but I'm concerned about people who feel like you can't make it to heaven. How many people, men and women of God... I know Marvin Sapp's wife, different people who died, and I know that they're in heaven. Uh, people who died wearing pants and everything, did they go to hell? Where did they go? You guys, you guys.